Yo, what's good skaters? Hello and welcome back to yet another video. Now, I've just got back from Amsterdam literally yesterday morning, so I've got so much content ready to go. I've pre-edited a little skate park review of Zeeburg, which is a giant skate park, some really cool unique tiles, some really weirdly shaped ramps, and it's just one hell of a skate park tour. So that's what we're going to be doing today. With all that being said, let's jump straight into it. As I said, I've pre-edited some of these videos together. We're going to go through, talk about my experiences, what I think of the skate park, and just how I think Amsterdam is in general. So with all that being said, we're going to start right here. I've got my fresh Spitfire grip tape that I picked up from the shop in Amsterdam. And as you can see, this place is absolutely humongous. Now, the surface area here is so, so big, but the skate park itself always seems to be completely empty. At first, I didn't really know why, but after having skated it a few times now, I've kind of figured out why. I've spoke to a few of the locals, got some of their opinions, but we're going to get into that in a little while, as long as some skating of the park. But first of all, this thing, look at it. Look at these tiles. The detail on these is so cool, and they're all around the park. So this one just is an aesthetically pleasing is one of the best skate parks there is. As you can see right here, this section, this little tile ramp, probably my favorite ramp of the whole day. This one is pretty dangerous when it gets wet. Don't get me wrong. You don't really want to be skating this how I'm skating it now because it was extremely slippery, almost like skating a tiled floor in the streets. In fact, just like that. And for the clips, I was filming some POV clips at the time as you can see by the fact that I'm holding my phone, but there's the satisfaction of riding up the bank, doing a trick and then riding back down. The sound. Now that is a satisfying ramp. It's just like music to my ears. I don't know what it is about tiles, man. They're just so satisfying to skate over, especially when you watch them back in clips. And this one just has such cool designs on it and it just looks so good that I'm bigging up this tiny little bank far too much. But yeah, that was at the end of the session, so it was raining then. But as you can see, this is probably more the reason why most people don't actually use the skate park that often. These ramps here, I mean, like, look at the gradient on this. I mean, it's got a coping on the top, and the coping sticks out at an oververt angle, as you can see here. Like, it goes, it's a very, very steep bottom that just goes almost straight up. By about halfway, you're almost at vert, and then by the time you're at the top, it's actually oververt with the coping hanging off. And ain't no one skating that one unless they want to get banished to the shadow realm. To say that I didn't skate this one probably wouldn't surprise you. Either way, let's continue with the video. So, starting off at the 10 stairs when I'm beginning the tour, I think I just want to show a few of the cooler bits off at the start, but there's plenty more, so don't get me wrong. Obviously, you got my escapism board. Bear in mind, new escapism graphic with the pink and green logo will be dropping in a couple of weeks, so keep your eyes peeled for that. The ones that I currently got here, though, are fully sold out. But anyway, so I'm showing a bit of the detail on the tiles, as you can see. I mean, it's pretty mental how good these things are. Look at them. You can't really tell like the designs from far away, but it's just aesthetically pleasing either way. But anyway, now this ledge next to the stairs would make one hell of a ride on ledge. Like imagine ollieing up that and being able to stay straight all the way down. It would be so, so insanely accurate. But yeah, let's begin this tour. Okay, so going over this little hump just at the bottom of that 10 stair, we have this bank here. And a big theme of this skate park, you'll find out, is that a lot of these ramps are very much ver like almost vertical. Like The angles on these are pretty insane. So don't be surprised if we see a lot more of that. This is the back of that ramp. There's so much detail on there. Like, Just pause the video and have a look at that because it's so cool. As you can see, that one's not too bad to skate. It is a bit annoying, not very beginner friendly, but other than that, it's all good. Right now here, we've got this like really weird sort of laid out section. Like this is all on a ramp. As you can see, like this bit is going up on a ramp and then it cuts off to another ramp here. And then you can kind of even like go up, wall ride into 50-50 and then go straight down the ledge. I didn't even think about that at the time. That would have been a pretty fun trick just to mess about and try. But I should have thought at the time. See, now that when you go there, you can see this bit and you can go hit that for me. Let me know if you do. Right, so... These, a lot of like ledges, a lot of stages. You can hit the ledges here from so many different areas because as you can see, they're literally like, there's one here, one here, one down here, and they go all the way up. They're like stairs. You can almost do like a trick down, trick down, trick down, which would be kind of cool. And you've got like the um, park section in the middle, but we'll get to that towards the end. This section that we're at now, is just where I was spending most of my warm-up time. Like, you've got these little stairs here. You could do a trick down the stairs, a trick up the other side. Or you could just ride down and ride along 50-50 this bit and come off the other side if you can make it all the way. Or you could 50-50 and then do a trick down the stairs. My God, the options here are insane. Like, this skate park, I don't know why so few people use it. Even knowing what the locals have told me, I feel like this skate park is still so underused. But I'm, we're going to have a little warm-up skate here in a second. So don't fret. We have got clips here. So the first thing I did was just went for a little ollie manual. Completely failed it. So I just warm up for a 50-50. And these ledges here are actually super nice. And this part of the ground is probably the only bit of flat ground at the entire skate park. So it's not too bad to pop off of. Not too bad to land on. Got a little nose grind there. 
And yeah, I just really like these little ledges and they're also at a good angle so you can hit them from both sides. Then we've got marble benches. Now there's like four or five of these dotted around the park, but I just went for the one that had the best run up, you see, because these little spots, they matter. And as you can see, there's some wax on the floor there. I didn't bring that. There's just little bits of wax dotted around. Got a bit stuck down on my 5-0 there, but managed to get it second try. Now, we're going to go back to the tour real quick here and see this little double set. Now, a lot of these ground, like I just said, that bit there was the only bit of real flat ground. A lot of the rest of the floor here is almost like pointing down to a drain. I mean, come on, just look at it. you got to land every trick into a downhill ramp. So annoying. You can see like at the bottom of these stairs, the, the ground goes down at an angle straight away towards that drain in the middle. And the same thing on the other side that you see, I start going down a bit, then I start going back up. It's the drainage systems here. They really do stop you from being able to get like a good flat ground session. And here I was trying some kickflips down the stairs. Like this is only obviously a tiny little stair set. Landed primo that time. I think I got this third try. Yeah, not bad. It was a little bit of a rocket flip, but you know, third try with my injured ankle. I'm taking it as I can. But don't worry, like the skateboarding that we do on this trip, it gets so much better as the days go on. Obviously on the first day, I'm not pushing my hardest tricks. I'm trying to just take it chill to make sure I can last the whole holiday. But on the last day, I did some of my best skateboarding, if not the best skateboarding I've ever done in my entire life. So that video will be coming out probably next week at some point because I'm focusing more on quality rather than quantity now. So these videos are coming out like every few days or so instead of every day. But basically this park, as you can see, is just where I'm doing my warm ups for the trip. This bank, I just had to show it off in a bit more detail. Like honestly, Pause the video here and have a look at how cool these things are because they're insane. Like these waves, same thing on the side. Look, look at the details. Like you can see like all the little bunny rabbit here, little pickle Rick in there, all kinds of cool stuff in there, man. It's ridiculously detailed. And these little humps, you can generate so much speed off them. There's a bank at the back right there that leads just off those ribbons. And the same thing just to the other side of me right there. Also, the tiles are on the back of these two ramps. And if you're feeling crazy, you could probably gap from one to the other. Now, going back up with the Eurogap wise, you can see here the drains have made the floors proper ramped again. So, and then you've got all these different kinds of like weird, tiny, super steep quarter pipes combined with like ledges on top of banks. It's a really weird skate park in that sense. Like that first bottom bit of the park is the most normal. Up here, we have the pool section. Now there's three of these. A normal park would be lucky to have one of them, but there's actually three. And this one that we're looking at right now is probably closer to like 15 16 foot tall which is ridiculous and i know it doesn't look like that on the camera right very common mistake to think that this would be a smaller ramp but if i stood in the middle i would honestly my height i'm six foot and i would probably come up to about here it's ridiculous ridiculously big in real life this ramp is insanity and it's got tiles all around the corner so you know if you're hitting tiles that you have made a massive accomplishment on this ramp but yeah there's plenty more weird ramps coming up so don't you worry we've got these tiles here super nice super detailed feel really nice on the wheels too and this whole ramp because it's the biggest has like this little barrier around it so you can't just like so a board can't go flying up and into the ramp when someone's skating it but i've never seen someone skate it so who knows how dangerous that actually is so then next to that, we have this pool. This pool has a way bigger surface area, in my opinion, but the ramps are slightly smaller. This is more like a seven, eight, maybe nine foot of the tallest kind of ramp. As you can see, that ramp in the back is pretty damn big. This one's more of a flat bank, and all of it is pretty much vert, to be honest. This is the most mellow ramp in the entire situation here at the top as you can see it's still almost completely vertical i decided to go for a drop in here which is one of my biggest drop-ins i've ever done and i was pretty scared but then one of my boys started looking at me so i had to send it you can't just sit there and stand up there and then wait around and then not do it you gotta just do it but yeah that was incredibly scary i can't lie not my normal skating scene the pools can't lie but my boys do like it so obviously we've got to come to the parks to suit them too now, this one here is the smallest of the pools. I think it's about four foot at the shallow, maybe six or seven at the deepest. Again, got tiles on it. I decided to just have a little go of this one as it's the smallest and most manageable. But I'm not doing anything too serious, like especially not on the first day of the trip. But not going to lie, I wouldn't be doing something crazy even if it was the last day of the trip in a pool like this. I'm just sticking for some rock fakies, have a little cruise. I'm not trying to go too hard on this one like I could anyway, but yeah. Just picked up that new orange hoodie as well. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's pretty cool. Deep end. He's telling me to go to the deep end.
Yeah, that's nice. Nice little section of the pools there. Now, this is where the ramps start to get super weird, right? You see this one? That's like a four, maybe four is a bit of an exaggeration. That's like a two and a half, three foot ledge on top of a bank that goes about four foot high, but the bank is incredibly steep. So like to hit this ledge, you would have to pop from like halfway up and then get all the way up here and then hop back into the bank. And then you would almost clear the entire bank on the way back in because of how tall this is. It's crazy, man. This park has some seriously mental stuff. And that goes all the way around the edge. That, as you can see, there's so much more of it there's so many ramps like this at the skate park especially in this middle section look at the size of the coping on that and like this one is the little sneak peek of the ramp that i gave you towards the start but as you can see the whole thing goes up and it's literally over the the top absolute mentalness and that guy right there was the only other skater i've ever seen at this skate park in the dozens of times i've been here many scooter kids but never other skaters here's another tiny little quarter pipe just messed around on in the middle section I think now we're going to go over to like the little street rail section bit. Well, not really street. This is more like a like traditional park section with banks, little driveway ledge, rails. I'm just messing about with some tricks to fakie here. The tray flip. A very hill. Yeah, I was going for a very hill on this one. My boy Sam with a little 720 pivot. These ramps are actually really nice to skate. Like there is so like there's so much at this park that is skatable that I feel like it kind of overshadows the stuff that isn't. Yeah, there's some things that you could really complain about at this park, like the unlevel flat ground and the fact that some of the ramps look like this from a distance. But other than that, I think there's so much at the park that as long as you can get there on a fairly quiet day, which every time I've been there, it's been extremely quiet. There's never been anybody there apart from a couple kids and this other skateboarder this one time. So if you come here during the day, you can definitely get a nice session in and pretty much have the whole park to yourself. Oh, that's, that you probably hate that trick. But this trick here is like a little bonus thing that I just learned. It's like a little bonus hard flip kind of thing. So you get a bonus, hand it, bang. Really, really easy. So if you want to try something that's going to keep the morale up, try that. Oh, backside flip. I don't think I went back for that. No, I didn't. Oh, the first time I cut my hand at the trip. If you guys have been following my Instagram for a while, which you can in the description if you want to, you'll know that I injure my hands quite frequently. And this was the ones that I did on that day. Like the bit by my pinky finger and the bit on my palm, honestly. Looks like a pepperoni pizza on this hand. And I've got the same thing on the other hand for falling later on in the trip, which we'll get to in the later videos. But yeah, this was the first one that cut me up. And it got worse. Way worse than this. Yeah, that's just minor. And then I started skating here and this is where it really happened. Like this is the uh, rail section up by the pool. I was just literally jumping on a little nose stool and then a revert off. It was so basic, so shitty, but I decided to put it in the video anyway. God knows why. I did do something good on the rail afterwards though. So hopefully I put that in this video too. There you go. Little nose stool revert. Then Ollie over that. And then, yeah, I did the Ollie into the second bank. And finally, did the same thing, ollied over the fence, and this is the last trick. I think this was the one that messed my hand up even further, but I didn't include it in this video. I'll probably do like a worst bails of the trip video, where I go over some of the gnarliest falls, because when we were skating street, I took a lot of them. So, so to say that I'm feeling sore now is an understatement, but yeah, I did manage to get this one. Little 50 50 ride on into the second bank, and you get so much speed off that. But yeah, that was Zeberg Skate Park. Why no one uses it, I have no idea. For me, it gets a 4.5 out of 5 Tonys. It's so good. The only thing that I could ask for better is some nice flat ground, but I can ignore some of the weird ramps because there's so much other good stuff. Anyway, that was Zeberg. Let me know which country and skate park I should go to next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.